the MTD CNC podcast, sponsored by Langley Alloys. Unique metals for demanding applications, providing first-class performance and an international service. Welcome to this MTD CNC vodcast. My name is Lindsay Vickers. I'm a presenter at MTD CNC, and I am joined on the sofa with a gentleman who I've met many a time before, Mr. James Leet. This feels different, doesn't it? It is a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> exciting. Um, so, James, we're here at Leader CNC Technologies, and you've got some really exciting news for us, haven't you? Well, yeah, because you didn't think you were going to be here. And actually, 12 months ago, I didn't think I was going to no. be here either. Um, so, yeah, things have changed quite a bit, haven't they? They absolutely have. So we've come to your facility here. Um, we're left away, aren't we? Yes. Yes, yeah. is that where you... Wimeswold. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, it, you're in refurb at the moment, so you, you've changed the facility. It's looking really good. Well, actually, this is a brand new facility well, that we've built from the ground up. So uh, we're in furb. Oh, we're you're not in, in furb, refurb. not refurb. Yes, we're okay. absolutely yeah. in furb. So yeah. um, you've got a sneak preview here. You're the first people actually to come in. Uh, we're just about ready to open the doors on Wimeswold, but there's obviously a bit of a backstory yes. um, to, to get to that point. So you're quite known in the industry um, and the reason being is you worked for another machine tool brand for 14 years. Yep. That was how many, so it was 14 years, how many ago, how long ago did you leave that company? Okay, so over 12 months ago, um, yes. it was at the beginning of last year actually, I decided uh, having had quite a good time with, with, with said brand yes. um, that everybody associate me with. Uh, a really good time, uh, really enjoyed that brand and um, decided that I wanted to get back to something I was quite passionate about, which was running a training business. And right. um, I set a training business up, which is still running. Yes. Um, and it's very successful, to be fair. Uh, and I am passionate about things like that, uh, developing people, developing culture, um, and getting excited about sales and leadership and mm. engagement, all those. I've always great, got great that things. from you. You know, yeah. we've done some videos before on the road, and I've always got that from you. And I understand why you went in that direction. I do totally get that. But you've kind of returned back to industry. <laughs> so in in this uh, vodcast, um, we're actually going to meet some other people from the company as well, where you're at now. But just before we go into that and getting to know where you are with Leader CNC Technologies today. What happened? What's that change? Why did you come back? Well, that's the link, and that's why we're here, and that's so exciting. Yeah. Because, in a nutshell, I was approached by another machine tool company called Miltronics, right. who are not known in the UK. Um, they're a global brand. They've been around since 1973. And they said to me, look, you know, James, we'd like you to represent Miltronics in the UK. And I said, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this now. You're doing uh, your moon shooting. I've got some, I've got some great clients. Um, you know, I've done a moon shooting piece with MTD, with, yeah. with Paul. Uh, and I'm working in the industry, but I'm also working outside of the industry. And I've got momentum. You need to talk to Leader. And they are like, oh, can, can you do it? Because you get our marketplace. We're a volume provider. Um, can you do it? And I'm thinking, I don't know. I don't, really don't know. Long story short, I went to see these products and I was impressed. I was impressed with the product, but more impressed with the ethos and, and the way that they had a, a refreshing approach to the marketplace. Mm. And then I thought, do you know what? I'm, I'm working with Leader. They're one of my clients. And the reason I was engaged with Leader is to bring a chap who we're going to meet later, Vince Heffernan, through from the technical department, more into sales. Really great guy. Uh, very, very technical good at selling the product in a very credible, down-to-earth way. Yeah. Um, absolutely perfect for what we do. Um, and I thought, well, th there's some synergy here because what Leader need is a product that they can go anywhere with and mm. Vince needs some time to actually get in front of customers and engage with more and more people that don't necessarily need a specialist product. But also, Miltronics needs a really good platform of technical support, of infrastructure. It's a brand new company. To start a brand new company from scratch, it mm. needs some collaboration. So quite quickly, things evolved, the relationship evolved, and here we are. 
And where does James Leake fit in? Why mm. am I so excited? Yeah. Because what Leader have done is presented me with an opportunity to put a strategy together that's quite exciting. And selfishly, I want to do something good for the industry. Yeah, you, know, you been, love this industry. I've been in this industry since 1979. Yes. Um, uh, with my family's business. And, um, you know, every time I've tried to escape the industry, I've come back. This time it took less than 12 months. <laughs> and, <laughs> and actually, you, I, I really want to do genuinely something good for the industry, something yeah. refreshing. Um, and this is a great opportunity to do it. So... Leader, and this segues perfectly, Leader have been around for years, 24, 26 years. Yes. And the DNA of, of Leader is very, very technical. Uh, they've always had roots in technical support, technical uh, maintenance, repair, refurbishment. That's, that's really, really what they've been very, very good at. And they've represented some very, very high-end, expensive technical brands over mm. the years. And actually, many of those brands are the best kept industry secret because what, um, what they haven't necessarily done is positioned those brands to the mainstream market. Mm. Enter James Leake with this Miltronics thing mm. and the James Leake element of it. Um, and actually, Leader have changed in their ownership. So um, the characters that set the business up have reached their retirement age and... Um, that the business is still very much the same leader. It's still got the very same people at the core, but we've now got so much more to offer. Um, <coughs> and let me qualify that. So how do we move forward from a position of, well, we've lost two key elements of the business to retirement. Where do we go from here? Mm -hmm. You can either just roll forward or you can say, right, let's grab things by the scruff of the neck mm. and let's move forward in, in a, a solid way that reflects the really good work that we've always done. We don't want to stop that. Uh, you know, we've got some great people that still look after our legacy customers. Yeah. We don't want to stop that. Quite the opposite. We want to grow that. But in order to facilitate growing that, we need to position ourselves slightly differently. Mm. So everything Different lines strategy. Up. Yeah, and, and everything lines up perfectly well because... Um, I looked at the business in a completely different way through fresh eyes, yeah. uh, which I had the luxury of doing. And I thought, well, yeah, we've got some cracking products that go into niche areas. But let's look at the industry from the other way. What's the industry look like? It looks like verticals, looks like horizontals, looks like lathes, and it looks like multi-axis versions of all of those three main yes. criteria. Of course, there's some other specialist niche areas, but that's the wider market. What have we got that supports that market? So... Across our brands, three products stand out as, as well, they're door-opening products, let's call them mm. that. Miltronics, I've mentioned, in terms of vertical machining centers, absolutely, the Miltronics now, we can, we can knock on any door with a Miltronics product. Um, very, very conversational uh, programming system, very easy to use. If you've never used a CNC before, they're perfect. Very robust machine. Um, uh, actually, they, they stand up as dare I say it, the best of the budgets is the kind of okay. area that they're positioned in. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that's a big plane. But that's that's where it's positioned. It's That's that's the position of, of a Miltronics machine. Mm. It's in that area. So it's not it's not the cheapest product. On the, it's not suddenly going to come in and we're, we're a cheap product. Far from it. Mm. It's not that at all. It's a well-positioned, robust, very easy-to-use machine. But one you can knock on any door with. Yeah. Um, They've also got a very good range of flatbed lathes and slant bed lathes, so it, it is a range in its own right. But then Leader have got the opportunity to then look at their other ranges and think, well, what could we do with, say, five axis and horizontal? Mm. Well, Takumi. Takumi are an awesome product. Yes, I've done some videos on, on Takumi uh, machines. Again, uh, it, it's a product that people should know more about. Yes. It, it's not been a mainstream Geo product. Geo raves about them, doesn't he? Geo really raves <laughs> about them. He really does. And there's a tie-up there between Takumi and Miltronics because many of the components, many of the actual uh, the steel work is made in the same factory. Oh, so really? it's of the same pedigree. Um, and that, that's not an industry secret, that's a well-known fact. Mm. So then we look at the lathe offering and think, well, what have we got there? Well, FFG DMC are one of the best, best made lathes on the planet. Mm. Uh, and, and that's a fact. They are a very, very, very well-made machine. Um, and again, 
they're, they're a real secret, supposedly, in the UK. They feel like they are. Yeah. Um, there should be more of these things about that. We're the sole agent for that in the UK. So we've got a cracking lathe product that we can offer. So straight away there, we've got three products that we can knock on any door with. Miltronics, DMC lathes, Takumi. That's a conversation. Uh, and um, then when you're in that conversation, somebody could say to us, well, yeah, but we really need a vertical turning lathe. Um, can you do something with that? Because we've got this component, it's a meter and a half diameter, it's got to be vertically turned, you know, have you got anything like that? And that's a conversation killer for most companies. With us, no, we've no. got Shibora, yes. we've got Grupo Papas, we've, we've got Fermat. There's, there's all of these other products that suddenly that we can bring to the party. So why does that differentiate us yeah. from everybody else? That's when the DNA of the company comes into place because the other thing that having all these brands gives us by natural consequence is a really strong technical background. So our engineering department, yes, it can turn key. Yes, it can look after these brands. It can refurbish machines. Uh, we've done quite a few full refurbishments and redesigns of existing machinery. We've got that capability. Mm. We've not really shouted about it. Which means we can just service a normal machine easy peasy. Any machine. So actually when we're trying to announce ourselves, and this is really what this is about, announcing ourselves to the marketplace, um, if you were going to invest hundreds of thousands of pounds in a new machine tool with somebody you don't know, you're going to do your due diligence. Um, yes, you are. And in fact, you know, it, it's questionable whether you'd even get into that conversation. But if you've got an existing range of machines that either you've got a breakdown on or you want servicing or you just want a low risk way of getting to know us, like You're us, proving yourself. and therefore trust us, mm. um, what better way than to actually get our engineering department involved because we'll work on anybody's machine. Yeah, um, anybody's machine? Yeah, pretty much. And okay. actually, if it's a machine that we can't work on, we'll just tell you. Yes. But the reality is the guys can work on all the control systems, they work on Hyde and Hein, they work on Siemens, they work on Fanac, they, mm. they know these products. Miltronics is a conversational programming system. They work on these products, it's very Fanac based. Mm. But, so we've got that depth of knowledge to work across a range of machinery. The rest of it's mechanical. We know about spindle motors, we know about linear guideways, we know about box guideways, we can do all of that stuff. And we have service contracts in place on, in, in many, many customers where we're working on machines that are not from our stable because mm. it makes sense. While we're here servicing our Shibora or our Grupo Papas, mm. let's service your Dusan, your Hass, your XYZ. We can do that. It makes sense. Now, yeah. if we're going in with that kind of offering, people will then ultimately get to the point where they're going to say, well, actually, we could do with a new machine. Do you know you guys know anybody that, that do, a, I don't know, a machine with 30 meters in X? Mm. Yeah, we do one of those. Yeah. And we do, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> and we do, and we do, and we do. So, yeah, it, it's, it's exciting for me because the guys at Leader are still the guys at Leader. And me, I'm looking at them thinking, these guys don't know what they've got here. Yeah. They do now. Um, not just because of me, but because we've all sat down and we've said, wow, we've, we've actually got an opportunity mm. to go uh, and, and go for it properly in a controlled way. Because we don't sell three, four hundred machines a year, we've also got the opportunity to really interact with customers on a on a one-to-one -one basis yeah. with turnkeys, with responsible consultation. And a lot of the product of this showroom actually is is exactly that. This is a brand new facility, we own it, we've built it from it's the very ground exciting. Up. It is exciting. Yeah. Uh, and, and I can feel the fire in your belly. It, oh, yeah. it definitely can. Yeah, from the whole company. Yeah. And the whole company's engaged with this and, and, and we're all on the same page and it's uh, and it's growing. We've just taken on another um, service engineer as well yeah. and we're training that guy in, into the culture of the business. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, it's uh, it's it's marching forward. So what I'm going to do is find out more from Vince about yep. the brands that you're offering to industry. And then I'm going to speak to you about the future of Leader and kind of the growth plans that you've got. Yep, perfect. Vince, thank you for going on to the podcast today. Um, so you're head of technical sales. Tell me about your background briefly. Uh, so I started as a press tool maker. Uh, so I left that and then went into prototype machining. Went from prototype machining to aerospace. 
uh, aerospace then into making flight simulators. Oh, wow. Uh, and after that, I did a bit of defence work. So I'm a bit of an all-rounder. <laughs> yeah, do you love it? I love it. Yeah. I love my job. Um, and it's so good to hear that. W why do you enjoy it? Because there's a lot of brands here, we're going to go through them, but you've got huge variety with, with this company. Uh, I love it because it's interesting. Every day is a different day. So one day I could be making something as small as a medical component that fits in a grommet that fits inside your ear. The next day I can be making an engine casing for a Boeing 737. It's just it's everything in between. It really yeah. is. So tell me about each brand here and what we would recognise and what we could think about when we're looking. Right, you go for this, you go for this brand, you're after this, you go for that brand. So we can offer everything from sliding head with the Nomura machines right up to 30 metre gantry with the Group A Purpose machine. So tell me about some of the brands that you represent then. So we've got Takumi, they're primarily a mould and die machine. They're all bridge type machines, even the five axis, they make them very robust machines. Moving on then we've got FFG DMC, uh, again a very robust lathe, we put them into customers and we never ever really hear from them again. That's a good thing. Uh, we've got the Maple, uh, Maple's more of our mid-range machine, uh, more towards your standard three axis machines. You can be fitted with uh, trunnions and bits and bobs like that but they're just our mid-range machine okay grupo purpose uh they make large gantry machines up to 30 meters in x full linear wow. they cannot do up to 60 meters a minute in x so they are a very very quick machine to think of such a large machine that can move that quickly and then stop again accurately <laughs> yes it, wow it's <laughs> unbelievable yes uh we have jtec uh, jtec formerly toyota uh, they're an out-and-out -out production machine. They make uh, large horizontal machining centres along with grinders and five-axis machines, but they're, they're more known for the large horizontal machines. You can have a 1600 size table carrying six turn on the table. Um, when you're talking about out-and-out -out production, are you talking about just literally component after component? Day in, day out. So they're, High actually, volume. they're actually owned by Toyota the car, uh, Toyota the car company. Oh, I see. And they produce most of their cars on them machines. Right, understandable. Shabora, uh, Shabora, we, we mainly sell the, their VTL range. They do do l larger machines, but we usually sell the VTLs. Uh, again, a very robust machine. They can carry up to nine turn on the tables. We put them into a customer, we never hear from them again. Again, we've got one in Tamworth. It's been in there 25 years. Uh, it cuts 10 microns down over a meter and holds it all day long. Perfect. No wonder you dream about CNC machines. You're a fountain of knowledge, aren't every you? Every night. <laughs> yeah, every night. Uh, Nomura. Nomura are sliding head machines. They're very well known in America. Oh, okay. But not so well known in the UK. Mm. We have got a few in the UK producing uh, automotive parts and a few producing medical parts as well. Oh, okay. Uh, Fat Heiko. Fat Heiko are a large uh, horizontal lathe, uh, up to 20 metres between centres. Uh, flatbed castings produced in Poland, a, a very good machine. Yeah, a, a lot of your machines literally made around the globe as yes. well, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Fermat, Fermat do horizontal boring machines as well as uh, grinders as well. We've got a grinder down south uh, we put in there three years ago. We've only visited it once to service it. That's it. This is a reoccurring thing that you're telling yeah. me, aren't you? Yeah. I think this is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, we, we never go to the machines for breakdowns, touch wood. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then we're back onto Miltronics, which again has the overlap. Back with Takumi, they're made in the same factory. Mm. They're a very, very, very good out and out machine. And what are your kind of three brands that you're really pushing then? So we're pushing uh, FFG DMC, Takumi, and Miltronics. They're our door openers. So they're the machines that we can sell to any factory. When you get into your Grupo Purpose, your Shaboras, your Fermats, they're a bit more specialist and they take a lot longer to sell because usually when you're going into these customers, it's a long project. So if you're gonna sell a Grupo Purpose, a large gantry machine, that project could last up to three years. Yes, whereas these are more of a volume sale, yeah. basically. Machine out of a box, really. Mm -hmm. But with the service that, yeah. you know. Why do you love CNC machines so much? I love CNC machines so much because everything that's around us has been made at some point or another on a CNC mm. and it's very tactile that you can see, right, I've, that's been made on this, that's been made on that. And yeah. So what is the type of conversation that you have your, with your wife at, <laughs> at the weekend? Uh, we don't talk about work. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to. Not allowed She'd to like, talk no about more, work. No more, no more. 
Brilliant. So are you looking forward to the future with Leader CNC technologies, the way it's changing? I am. It's a very exciting time here at Leader, and we're, we're going in a new direction and, and it's very, very exciting. Okay, so James, we found out about all of the brands. So what are your plans? Because I know how excited you are. You coming yeah. on board. This is a new challenge for you. Yes. The whole company is on board with everything. You're known to industry. Yep. So where are you going to take Leader CNC Technologies? So the first place that I want to take them is an awareness piece to the market. We're here, we're open for business. We want to talk to people uh, locally, certainly, so when I say locally, in the center of the country, about service, about support, about refurbishment, we can do all of that. Why is that important? Now. So service is really important because I think the industry expects, and rightly so, a much better service as we evolve. You know, the world's going at a faster pace, mm. AI is taking over, all of these things. Service and uptime is really, really important. And the industry's got a reputation for dare I say it, making money out of service, why wouldn't they? You know, it, there is a profitable revenue to come from. Yeah. We've got a strategy that involves actually not making that much money out of service. That sounds crazy. Yes, it does. Um, but let me explain it. Our customers will benefit from us not replacing parts, but fixing problems. So yes. Miltronics, for example, uh, they actively look to replace a cheap bearing from the shelf from somewhere else than replace a whole spindle, for example. Mm. They feel the value in the customer's gratitude for that as having far more weight than making a short-term sale on a big part. They would rather their customer be up and running with a small part that's been fixed. But no one wants to invest in anything and then have to have a high running cost it, of it, it, do they? Exactly. And that gives you faith in a brand. It does, it does. And the other thing that we found evidentially at Leader, brands like DMC, for example, we only had this conversation yesterday. We can't remember the last time we had to sell a spare part for a DMC. They just run. Really? Um, and that's why for us, service is so important. You know, uh, my dad used to say to me with the car, you know, oil's cheaper than steel, boy. Make sure you get it serviced. <laughs> yeah. And he's right, uh, mm. or he was right. Um, and um, it's the same with us. When we do a service, we, we properly do a service. Mm. Um, but we, we make sure that uh, we're looking after the machine, but we're looking after the customer first. Mm. And it's an easy thing to say. Everybody wants to do that. But, mm. but actually, service as a strategy for us is, is more important than just some after-sales revenue, if, yeah. if that makes sense. No, it does. I, I, just to hear you say, you know, you don't want to make money off servicing, service as a strategy. That's from, since walking through the front door here, that's what you've gone on about, being technical, yeah. looking after the customer. Yeah. Because you just literally have faith in the machines. And it was lovely, as I walked in, you were telling me your excitement about the machines and you, you raced me over to a machine to show me. You, you kind of hit the door of the machine and said, listen to this, listen yeah. to this. Yeah. And that's what is working for you. You've worked in the industry long enough yeah. to know that. Yeah. And that's exciting. And don't get me wrong, you know, companies that don't make money go bust. You know, we're yes. not trying to put a strategy together here that's not profitable, of course not. But there's, I mentioned before, you know, we want to do something good in the yeah. industry and then the industry will do something yeah. good for us. Mm -hmm. And there's a trade-off there. It's not about short-term uh, profit from uh, spare parts and things like that. Um, and uh, it's, it's not a risky strategy, it's a proper strategy. And it comes from selecting the right machine tools yep. with the right ethos, with quality parts that are not designed to go wrong, um, that uh, you know, nobody designs parts to go wrong. No. That, that, that's the wrong thing. But, but they are quality machine tools that come with that price tag, but it's, it's about then the after sales cost. We couldn't do that unless we've got a DNA in the company that says service, support, fix it, don't part swap it. I think mm -hmm. that's one of the things that um, the engineers were keen to impress upon me when I joined was, look, we fix things. Yes. We, we don't just go in and randomly swap, but we fix things. You've got to get your head around that. And I'm thinking, brilliant. That's that's mm. exactly what we need to do. James, doing. I want to see, I want to be sitting on this sofa in a couple of years' time and finding out more cause, <laughs> and doing case studies yeah. of those machines that you've got out there and then finding out more about you know, what people are saying about you as a brand, improving the words that you're saying, because that's yeah. the best way. 
Abs absolutely, yeah. And, and the nice thing is, you know, we, we have got quite a good customer base. But my thoughts personally are that customer base should be a lot wider than it is. People yes. need to know a bit more about us and jump on the bandwagon. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing is that, you know, we're not selling um, hundreds and hundreds of machines to hundreds and hundreds of people. Uh, we're very focused, very targeted, uh, very controlled, profitable growth. Um, so the journey with us is risk free. Mm -hmm. uh, or as risk-free as this journey can possibly be, and that's what we're going for. You've got an open house here soon, is that right? Is that what you're going to be doing? Yep, we are. So that's exciting. Um, so that will be the first showroom Miltronics into the UK. Yes, that's... Um, the, and I stress the word showroom Miltronics because there are machines over here already. Yeah. Um, and that's an exciting time. Uh, once the showroom is then properly functional, we will be having open houses, we'll be inviting people, we'll have time slots as well, so it won't just be a free-for-all. Uh, we want to look after the customers and, 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 and have proper presentations around our offering uh, and really look after people. We will be featuring and showcasing predominantly our three door opening brands, so DMC, Takumi, Miltronics, but we will also, over the course of the next few years, be having some of the other brands represented. Shibora, Grupo Papas have, uh, have talked about putting things in. And, and these are the kind of machines that don't normally sit in people's showrooms. So it's quite an exciting uh, proposition. Yeah, it absolutely and it's is. right in the middle of the country as well, which so is quite perfect. nice. Perfect, great location. Yeah, lovely. So I'm looking forward to getting out on the road, seeing some case studies. Yep. You've got some already We have planned. indeed. We have indeed. And when the machines go out, We'll get some more in. Yeah. So we've done some really good work with some of the brands before. So not the three door openers that I've mentioned, but just a little signpost. We have got a video planned with you guys uh, in one of our very, very successful specialist uh, high end applications. So watch this space. That will be uh, released soon as well. So that, that video will be done soon. That's very exciting. Well, thank you, James. You're and welcome. of course, Vince, uh, from earlier talking to us about the very, as we've met, said it many a time, exciting times that Leader CNC Technologies have to offer and get in touch with the team if you're looking for a new machine tool for your shop. Indeed. Thank you for listening to this episode of the MTD CNC podcast, sponsored by Langley Alloys, specialists in a wide range of exotic materials for any application for all your engineering needs.